Welcome to Electro Online. How do we find the frequency and the period of a pendulum when it's not an ideal pendulum, a non-ideal pendulum, such as a thin rod? Well, we take a look at this and notice that uh, we have a rod swinging back and forth. At some point it makes an angle theta with the vertical. The force acting on the rod will act at the center of mass. Again, we have the weight of the rod and we have the restoring force mg, mg sine theta. Let's assume that the mass of the rod is 2.5 kilograms and the length is 1.25 meters. Starting with the F equals MA equivalent on rotational motion, so this is torque equals I alpha, and we also know that the torque is caused by the force, mg sine theta, acting through a distance of R. For small angles, the sine of theta equals theta, and so this becomes our differential equation, turned into a format that we're familiar with, and then we can see that this here is equal to omega squared, so omega, the angle of frequency of oscillation, will be the square root of mgr over the moment of inertia. And that is for all cases, no matter what the shape of the object is, as long as you find the moment of inertia of the object, you take that into the denominator, put the denominator, you have mgr in the numerator, and you're ready to go ahead and find the frequency and the period. Notice that r here will be the distance to the center of mass from the point of rotation. So for a thin rod, the moment of inertia is one-third ml squared. When we solve that for the frequency and the period, notice that the period is inverse of the frequency. These are the two equations that you get. And then if we plug in the values for, well, we don't need the mass, the mass is canceled out, so we simply need the length. And g, g is 9.8, there's the length. So you find the frequency and the period as an example. So again, you don't have to go to this derivation. You can see where it came from. Simply recognize that this constant right here is mgr over the moment of inertia, which is equal to omega squared. And from there, the rest is pretty straightforward. And that is how it's done.